Okay, so let's take the next problem. It's a beautiful problem to be asked at the JE Advanced level because it comprises of three particular chapters to be used in if you want to solve this problem. So it says A, B, C, B, the sides of the triangle opposite to angle A, B, and C respectively. S is given to be this particular value which is there and T is uh, something this. And you need to find the value of S and T. And if you see that S and T has a very small change that instead of cos here, you have uh, sine here. Right, this is the variation that you people have in the equation. Otherwise, everything remains the same, and this is a very big hint of using the cis method. Right, so what is cis method? If you people have not uh, done this, don't worry, I am going to explain this. Cis is nothing but c plus iota s, right? Cos theta plus iota sin theta we know is nothing but Euler form e raised to power iota theta, or if this is the target so this is what we are going to use in this particular question to find the value of this particular uh, snt so let's start the, with this that if i want the value of snt i'll take this something like s plus iota t so this complete then would become summation r equal to zero goes till n over here so this is the value that should be there so if you see this is theta so if i say that this particular value is theta so this is also theta here so cos theta plus iota sin theta now you can easily write this particular value that is here and remember this this is nothing but ncr don't worry about this this is ncr cr so you can write this as e raised to power iota theta right this is what we can write and in fact if i want to elaborate let's write e raised to power iota rb minus n minus r c and i can split this into two forms that is e raised to power iota rb into e raised to power iota minus n minus r see this is i can write now i'll try and integrate this m with the values which are there so how i'm going to do this let's see so i can take this value that e into this and n minus r common right uh, okay sorry so there is iota as well here so let's see what i'm going to do summation ncr is as it is so b n minus r if i take common what is going to happen let's see so I can say something of this sort will be there b n minus r n minus r is minus c this so if you notice this this becomes a and this becomes b this has n minus r and this has r so this is nothing but a binomial series n c r n minus r so what I can say this is nothing but a plus b raised to power n this is what you will get so up till now this question has been reduced from using complex number to a binomial series so what I can say that s plus i t right is equal to bang on we have a plus b raised to power n so let's just put the values of a and uh, b this is the value plus c e iota b raised to power n this is the value now for s and t you need to find the real and the imaginary part of the rhs so if we just go on and write this is what yes this is cos c minus iota sin c can i say something like this right and similarly this will be what this will be c cos b plus c sin c and this is whole raised to power n now you are confused that sir this is something really very confusing how we are going to solve this uh yeah there is iota here as well okay so if you combine the real part let's just combine the real parts very quickly so b cos c plus c cos b and if we take the iota component yes so what will be the iota it will be c sin c minus and yes there was a mistake this should be b sin b all right so c sin b minus b sin c this is the value of i that i can get from here so now can you see that there is a projection formula here yes that is why i was saying that it is going to use uh, too many formulas from the different different chapters so b cos c plus c cos b is nothing but what you can say is a right we know this uh, property very well and we also know that Lamy's theorem, right? From what is Lamy's theorem? Yes. So it says a by sine a is nothing but equal to b by sine b is equal to c by sine. Okay. So which says that b sine c is equal to c sine b. So if you notice, this particular component becomes zero, and this particular component is a, and hence the question is uh, getting solved like this. So the entire c plus i t that s plus sorry i t reduces to a raised to power n so there is uh, no imaginary term our answer for t is 0 and for answer of s is nothing but a raised to power n 
So I hope the question is clear. It's a fantastic question to be asked at the JE advanced level because it comprises of various various different steps. But remember, these are all the basic steps that are being used of different chapters. So for example, cis method is the basic step of complex number. Uh, binomial is the least difficult in this particular uh, question. And yes, obviously trigonometry that is the projection formula. Again, we all know how to use it. Brilliant question for advanced level. Okay.